Order in my studio. All right, fantasy artist Ken Kelly. Check him out on the internet. Chill of Expo, Kiss Conventions, anywhere. Your local bar and grill, you'll see him there. <laughs> All right, my special guest up tonight. It's a pleasure to have him back on the show. As I said, he stars side by side with Tom Selleck on the hit TV show Blue Bloods. He plays Lieutenant Sid. Let's give him a late night welcome. Back to the show, Robert Clohessy. <laughs> Robert. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you, brother. Thank you, Johnny. It's great to be back on Staten Island. Always great to see you. You know, the last time you were on the show, when was the last time you were on the show? It's like five or six years ago. It was actually February 2012. And that's memorable because? Because I got that, because I got that in my records. Oh, okay. I'm a, I'm a bit of a nostalgia, nostalgia guy. All right. Hanging out with Joe Franklin those, those times. You got me into all that stuff. So, uh, you're looking good. Thank you. I feel good. Family's doing okay? Family's great. Boys are out of college, yeah. and the uh, wife is still with me. <laughs> 32 years. Wow, that's great. Yeah, 32 years you. with me. Yeah. God bless her. Well, good for you, man. Listen, you know how it is. The longer you stay together, the more in love you, you stay. That's what they say, right? Well, just the thought of somebody else moving into my house. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Makes me stay with my wife. <laughs> you can't live with them, you can't live without them. That's right. Now listen, you worked on the best of the best of TV shows and movies, and I'll name a few. Hill Street Blues, Oz, Boardwalk Empire, The Wolf of Wall Street, now Blue Blood. It's on season seven, and I heard it just got picked up to season eight, right? Yeah. All Praise right. the Lord. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great show. How are you feeling about all of this? I feel great. You know, I went on, uh, actually, you know, uh, I was talking to another actor about this because I went out to audition for the first episode and I remember leaving uh, the audition and going, oh my God, that was terrible. I quit, I am quitting. I'm, you know, you, as an actor, you quit about 300, 400 times during your career. And that was about like 299. And um, I said, I, I stink, da, 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 and I got it. You know, I got the part. Next day, he rolled up, they said I got it. And then, uh, you know, I only went on to do like a recurring thing, you know, mm -hmm. so I did five episodes that year and then me and Donnie hit it off, uh, and then they did six, then 10, and 11, and then Tom Selleck wanted me to come up with him and be a part of you know, that uh, tr threesome there. And, um, and so now I've been like a regular for the last three seasons, so it's been fantastic. That's great, man. Yeah. Actually, I, st I started watching Blue Bloods a little late, season three, and my mother, is one you got to watch this cop show, Blue Bloods, and I never really watched too many cop shows. I, I always liked like the the street movies, the, the jail movies, like Oz. I love Sopranos, but then I started watching it, and I dug it. The acting and the writing is very strong, and all the actors are really good on it. Like I, I like Tom Selleck, I like Donnie Wahlberg, and you saw everybody kind of. It, it doesn't. It, it's real. It feels like you're in the moment of the show. Well, I think Tom, you know, Tom spends a lot of time, like I'll only get the script a couple days before we shoot. Tom works on it for weeks beforehand and he re he rewrites all his, with the, the exec producer, the, his, his track, his story. And, but he's constantly working. He's in the editing room. He's, uh, you know, helps in the casting of it, you know, has a saying, he has a saying everything. So, uh, he, I've never seen anybody, you know, really work as hard as him, and I'll continue to kiss his ass as long as he keeps me up. <laughs> <laughs> <Good. Yeah. laughs> no, he's fantastic to work with, and he, he's incredible. Uh, um. Now, how is it working with, with Tom Selleck and uh, opposed to working with Donnie Wahlberg? They seem like two different animals. Two Donnie, different yeah, totally. Donnie, uh, he loves, for some reason, I don't know what it is, I make him laugh, right? <laughs> So it gets to a point, we actually have a big scene in the final episode of this year, and it gets to a point where he goes, Bob, turn around. Just turn around, because he can't look at me. So I have to do a scene like this, so he does his lines on his close-up to the back of my fat head. <laughs> and, you know, and he's always making fun of my head, you know, you know when it's my close-up. Bring in the wide-angle lens, because I got a big head. He goes, we can't get in the same shot because my head's always covering his head. It's too big, you know. So he's always clowning around. And, um, and Tom is, you know, very serious. He's, you know. 
Uh, he works really hard on that. You know, where I come in, a lot most people come in, they just learn their lines and they, you know, it, that's all they have enough yeah. time to do it, you know, because, um, you know, it's not like it's like, not like a play where you have six weeks to rehearse it. Yeah. And you could really, you know, investigate things. It's re it's done so quickly. And uh, but he tries to track this whole story. And I think that's why it's successful because of him, not because of me. <laughs> now, listen, so women over 70 do love me. <laughs> <laughs> they love Sid. That's it, man. My, my aunt wanted to come here tonight. She goes, you got Sid coming on the show? I go, yeah, calm down. But she needs an EV placement, so she's going next week. <laughs> so she, she couldn't get down there. No, she's young. That's my Aunt Matt. She's the best. She's only like 63 years old, but she has a bum knee. I could, a lot of women who need replacements love Sid. <laughs> that, blah, blah, blah. Now, wh why do you tell us like a lot of... Uh, the fans of Blue Bloods, I'm sure we want to, I would like to know, to tell us like a funny behind the scenes story that, that no one would really know about that you're able to tell people. <laughs> wow. I can't really tell people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not a rat. Something little, something funny, a prank. <coughs> you know, there really isn't, there really isn't, you know, it's shot so fast, TV. And Tom comes in and he back ends the show. So he'll do the end of one, the beginning of another. And he's, you know, it's, it's yeah. constant scenes for him. So as soon as I finish my scene with him, I'm gone. They uh -huh. just throw me out, you know. And, uh, and then, you know, while they're lighting, we just rehearse the lines. And then you shoot it. You know, there's, there's no real, you know, conversations going on. Uh -huh. You know, no one wants to hear what I have to say anyway. You know? <laughs> now, listen. Currently, you're doing a lot of new stuff, new films and new projects. You care to talk about them? I know you got some uh, film festivals coming up, some screenings. Yeah, Tribeca Film Festival. I have uh, playing the lead and uh, you know, Lena, uh, Lena Dunham uh, from Girls, the, the girl from uh -huh. Girls. Her mom is this uh, famous uh, visual artist, and she wrote this story, and I'm, I'm playing the lead opposite her. And that's, uh, I got into the Tribeca Film Festival, so that's going to play four times in April. Okay. And then I have another film with Josh Charles from uh, The Good Wife. Uh, that opens up in May, somewhere in the city. I forget what theater. And that's uh, like a, a thriller thing, and I play the thriller killer's dad. That's The Good that Wife. Come yeah, The Good Wife. He was That the opens at the wife. IMC on May 10th. IMC on May 10th. There, there you, you go. go. And I'm the thriller, thriller killer's dad now is this open to the public yeah for 15 bucks that's the right 15 bucks or whatever for the cushy seat 20. anyone from the johnny p go show goes it's on me you just gotta let me know <laughs> all right how's that i'll donate <coughs> i'll donate to the cause that's it so what else is going on in the future? You brought one of your boys with you here tonight? He's hanging out with us? Yeah, Elias, my buddy Elias, I brought him because he was with me the last time we came on the show. Me, Elias, I did his film, his starred in his film called Crimson Mask yes. many years ago. It was a disaster, it didn't go anywhere. <laughs> um, no one bought it, uh, never went anywhere. You can't even get it on Vimeo. But uh, I love him, and then we did another short together and uh, it was so short, no one picked up on that either. You know, <laughs> I was terrible in it. And uh, but I love him, and we're going to do another one that probably won't get picked up or go anywhere or anything. But uh, he's here with us, and he wants to come on up, Elias. Come on up, let's give it up, Elias. What's up, buddy? How are you, my man? Good, yeah. man. Nice to see you again, man. Doing good. How you seeing? Good. I'm seeing great. I'm seeing great. <laughs> There's a lot of wires here. It's yeah, like yeah, a, come it's on, like a sci-fi movie. Sit down. I'm not getting naughty. Listen, I'm not getting naughty. Give man. yourself a clip. Okay. Clip, all right. Before you there get clipped. Go. Before I can get clipped. It's Staten Island. I That's know. I got to watch out, man. That's who you should say, people. You look the same. I haven't aged uh, a moment. This guy, though, man, he's not, <laughs> he's not looking too good. But. Why, why do you say that? <laughs> Were you making fun of me? Were you never, making... never, never, never. So it's good to see. We were here five years ago. Five years ago. And, and um, I remember, I couldn't pronounce Robert's name. That's right. I, I called him Clochesi. 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 We did it like four times. And, that, and the last time I wanted to do it again, he just came up and he was a gentleman about it. And uh, I, my, my stomach is still 
the turns when I watched myself say that. <laughs> but good thing I had Lilo here. She was like, she knew the dictionary back and forth. Yeah. So she, you know, that's what I used to like about the co-host, all the words I couldn't pronounce and everything I couldn't write, I let them do it. <laughs> <laughs> right, perfect. So talk to us. Yeah, so, uh, so as, you know, uh, Close said, we've uh, been involved in many unsuccessful films. No, but they were good. They were good they production. Were good, man. The we won a lot of awards. We lot actually awards. won a lot of awards. No, a lot did. of awards and no, no money. <laughs> uh, but then I saw Chloe was making a lot of money doing Blue Bloods. And he was like, this is some TV money. And I was like, I, I got to do this too. <laughs> so I went and I made a show. It's called Shoot Me Nicely. Uh -huh. Uh, and uh, it looks like we're gonna start, you know, airing next fall. Cool. And, um, and I said, uh, Chloe, will you be in my show? And he said, Did you just see my blue bloods check? Mm -hmm. You can't afford me. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what friends are for. Uh. Yeah. But uh, so yeah, we've been um, doing that. It has uh, Linda Hamilton in it from the Terminator, nice. William Sadler from Shawshank Redemption, Iron mm -hmm. Man Three. Uh, it's a show about a photographer who uh, snaps a uh, photo of a right-wing talk show host's mm -hmm. very little problem. So, um, and I think you might have a clip here. Yes, I do. Is it, I was, you know what, I was, I'm sorry, I went, I went into another world because I was saying talk show host, maybe he could use me. There we <laughs> go. <laughs> so, right, control room, show that clip. Maybe we should do a gallery show. You want to do a series of photo shoots of freakishly small genitalia? Yeah, who else? Especially now. We get a lot of good press. You know, if you want a gallery of dick pics, I can show you a great website. Don't be crass. We are talking art, not pornography. Which one pays more? Depends on your agent. Yeah. 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 That was that good. Was that was good, man. Of course. Very professional. Why didn't you cast me? <laughs> I was looking at when he said to me, I go, where's Bobby? So I texted Moolah, man. It's Blue Bloods money, man. That's all right. Yes. I know. was working. I was working. Once yeah, it gets picked up, he'll be on there. Of course, of course. You got Jackie the Joke Man on there, huh? Yeah, we got Jackie. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's super funny, great guy, and um, they've won uh, a lot of awards. They won uh, Best Ensemble at the Williamsburg Festival. Uh-huh. And uh, I think we should wrap this up, Johnny. No, that's all right. Anything else you guys want to say in closing? Uh, just that we love being on your show, man. We can't wait to come Listen, on again in five years. I respect you guys for coming <laughs> here, and it means a lot to me, especially you, Bobby, for coming on. You know, a lot of guys, once they get to a certain plateau, they forget about a small guy who's trying to make it in the business. But you're one of those guys that never forget the neighborhood, and I, and I appreciate that. And everyone in the business that I know that knows you say the same exact thing. So never change. God bless you. Barbara Clo Hesse. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny P. Thank you. All right, my brother. Elias. Hey, brother. Thanks again, yeah, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, nice to see you. All right. Robert Clohesse. <laughs>